What's up everybody? Today I am going to be showing you how to install a graphics card and also how to determine whether you need a new graphics card or a new monitor. What happened to me was I was just on the internet, I wasn't playing the game, and my screen just turned black, completely black. Restarted the computer, not even five minutes later it went black again, and then I heard a buzzing sound coming from my PC, and it was then that I was pretty sure it was my graphics card. But I still went ahead and unplugged my monitor, I plugged it into another computer, my laptop, let it run, it ran for over 10 minutes, that's when I knew it wasn't my monitor that was bad. And that's what I recommend for anybody to do that's also experiencing that problem. If you hear a little buzzing sound, it could also be some other things like your RAM, even CPU, or motherboard. But that's getting into a whole other problems. Also, sometimes condensation gets inside the monitor and you have to wait for it to evaporate so the monitor can work again. But I already determined that it wasn't my monitor, so I went ahead and picked this up. It is an over $200 graphics card. You could get this for under $50, Best Buy, anywhere and it has HDMI. I don't need a big, huge, awesome, crazy graphics card because I don't really play online games like that except for old school games. Thumbs up for old school games on emulators. But that's about it. Let me just open this up and fast forward the video. That's a pretty big box just for that. There you see, HDMI, fan, and then so you turn around your computer and look at the back of it and see where the monitor hooks up and it's the second one, one, two, and it's this one. And then if you see inside my computer, you can see it's that one right there. So then you just turn your computer on and you unscrew it. Usually there's two, but I only have one. All right, I have my computer open and if you can see I have to unscrew it from right there. I have to disconnect the power right there. The one I bought did not come with one, so I don't have to plug this in. See the size difference? And this one's better. Now I'm just gonna line it up right there. You hear that snap? That's what you're supposed to hear. Now just screw it back. Now that it is in place just go ahead, close up your computer, and then install the CD that it came with it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I took the time to clean my computer while I had it open, but I just simply put the CD in. Now the drivers are all installing, and my monitor is still on, so everything is good. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple. The only hard part is determining what exactly your problem is, but when you do buy a graphics card, just take a look at the system requirements to see if your computer matches that. And if it does, you're good to go. So thank you everybody for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check out all of my other awesome, amazing videos. And I'll catch all of you later. Thanks.